are working with paint today, primary colors, secondary colors, and tints. A tint and a shade. Tints is where you add white. A shade is where you add black. Today, you are going to create these beautiful color wheels. They need to look like this. You're gonna, I would suggest using a four inch plastic cap uh, to do that. You're gonna need paintbrush and water. We're also gonna be making a 10 inch by seven inch grid to create a tint and shade color chart of violet, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo. And you're gonna watch the video to see how to do it. This is, if you had a finger, and you measure from here to here, you probably get an inch. And this dimension from here to here is one inch. Thereabouts, it's pretty close. Um, and then you will learn how, in the video, how to rip your paper and measure to get this dimension. And then you will use this little template you've just made with a one inch increment on it to make this grid here and then you're going to paint it. You're going to add, you're going to start over here at the top with violet and you're going to have a violet here and you're going to add a touch of black to each uh, square as you go to the right and you're just going to get darker, more black, a darker shade. And you're going to add white as you go to the left and you're going to get a lighter shade. And you're going to do that with each color. This is the midpoint. This would be one, two, three, four, five, the midpoint. This is number six, okay? In the video, you will see number six, and that's what it corresponds to, right? So, you need to watch the video. After you're done, you're going to have two sheets of paper. You're using your nice white paper and you are going to take a photograph of each one of them with good lighting so that you can actually, I can actually see. I don't want to see dark stuff. If I see a dark page and I can't see your colors, I'm going to send it back to you until you take a better picture. I need to see what it looks like. I'm going to name it PSC. All right? And uh, it's worth two points. Download yours a PDF once you have Put it up into slides, Google Slides. Just export that as a PDF and send it to me. You have a rubric here. Okay. Uh, look at this. You want excellent. The color wheel is exceptionally drawn. You do a nice job on that. Okay. Your primary, secondary, and all your colors are uh, well organized and painted in that correct space. Okay. Uh, colors mixed. All colors have been mixed exceptionally well and are true to their hue, okay? And please, just make it look like the pictures I sent to you. Okay. Mixing tints and shades. Correctly blends tints of the base color by adding white, okay? That's what I wanna see, right? Uh, correctly blends shades of a base color by adding black. Excellent. Craftsmanship. All criteria is met. That's, that's, you get a five. That's, that's you know. You want to get full credit for everything. Okay, so do a nice job. Okay, down below here we have uh, the some source materials so you can see what they're called. Yellow and green is a tertiary color. Primary, yellow. Orange is a secondary. Green is a secondary. Okay, so you need to understand with what these colors really are. Secondary, tertiary. We're only working with primary and secondary. Um, there's stuff you can read. You want to learn more about how to do things. This is a great thing to read. I have given you, I will give you instruction in class, but uh, you also need to understand what tinting, shading, and toning colors is. Okay, you're adding white, you're tinting, you're adding black, you're shading. Okay. And you can see what uh, people have done adding uh, black, so they added black to that, so they added white to that, there you go. You're going to be doing this on your color chart. So you're going to start out with primary and secondary 
uh, colors and I would use the cap to make a circle it works and do another one over here Okay, so I have this piece of material to make my primary and secondary color uh, color wheel and I'm just figuring out where everything is. I'm going to find my midpoint. I say that's about, right, that's about there and can look over here to see what you would think a midpoint is. I would guesstimate about that. Right, there's a midpoint, and that would be my center. And then I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna go down like this. And uh, there you go. Now I'm going to erase this and you have something that looks like this. This would be yellow. This would be blue. And this is red. All right. Now you're going to do the same thing over here, secondary colors. Okay. And you want to find the middle. I'm gonna say that's about there. I wanna find my middle, about there, right? Looks like a middle, all right? And I'm gonna come off over like this because this is how we make our thing. All I did was fold a piece of paper here like this. This comes like that. This is about equal, looks good to me. And that goes like that. And now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So use so with the colors that you have, yellow, blue, and red, which you have, you can make all these other colors as well. Okay, just so you understand that. You have a clean area. This is white. I'm gonna put some white in here and I'm gonna get a little touch of blue. I'm gonna mix that in there. And it's kind of a light blue. I want it a little darker. Right? Now, when you add white, that's called a tint, but I want to get to a certain blue, blueness. I don't want it to be so super blue, okay? So I take my color and with a good amount of water on here, I paint in my area. To, to make orange, you mix red, mix red with a little touch of yellow. There you go. And now you have orange. Look at that. Isn't that nifty? Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a gridded out uh, rectangle with 10 colors and seven down and this will be with white this is a tint okay you add white to the color you get this you add black to the color you get that and you want to be washy with this you don't want to be too uh heavy with your use of paint on your paper you are going to grid this out this is at one inch okay one inch is from the tip of my finger to here to the first joint you could take your finger and you could put it over here and you could draw a line right here. See this? And now I'm gonna fold this over exactly to where I made my mark. And this paper should be square, so you will get one inch out of this. From this point to this point is one inch. You can actually 
rip it. A one inch piece. Look at that, that's one inch. Now, I can come over like this and I can measure from here to here, from this point to this point, that is one inch. Coming up from the bottom of, the, of your paper here, you take your one inch mark, your one inch piece here, and you mark here, here, and here, so that you know, and then you can run a line over here like this, okay, using, this, using the straight edge over here. Okay, and you can go even further out because you don't know how long things really are. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. Right? Now, I'm gonna come off the side here. Why not? And I'm gonna measure right here and here and here and I can take my straight edge, my straight edge and I can, because I have one side that's perfectly straight and I go like that. Then I can go from here, I can measure one inch. One inch, and this will all be exactly the same. It's the beautiful thing. And you wanna have seven inches, and you will have seven inches. You should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Okay. And now I take my piece and I go like this. And I'm going to do one, two, three, even. I'm going to do it again. And as you're doing this, you, you look, you say, is that even up here with down here? Could that come over a little bit? And then you go and do your line, right? And then you have that line and then you come over here and you could actually do it like this. You just run it down, right? It's... Okay, now you have your grid, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and this is violet. This is uh, red. This is orange. This is yellow. This is green. This is blue. And this is indigo. Okay. So you're going to start out with white and this is going to be black, okay? White is a tint when you add white. Black is a shade. Now, let's mix color. Now, you should have something to mix your colors on. You could use your your uh, this area, but this will get dirty. So it's better to work on a actual piece of uh, paper, right? So we're gonna start out with violet, right? And so this was this was kind of our violet to begin with. We can make some more violet, okay? And mix some blue with that, right? Our violet. 